<laughs> but let's talk about the crisis going on at the Emirates. Arsenal Football Club, they have not been able to get things together since the start of the season and it has gotten so bad at this point. And Una Emery was fired some weeks back and Freddie Lindbergh has been in charge as interim manager. And just like Amazi said, he said, get me out of this place. But the latest report is that former midfielder um, Mikel Arteta has been contacted and he appears to be in pole position to take the managerial job at Arsenal. And City boss Pep Guardiola says he would not stop Arteta if he decided to leave. The Gunners are ninth in the Premier League, seven points behind fourth place Chelsea after five victories in 17 matches this season. But the question is um, to Amazing now, is Mikel Arteta the right man for the job? I mean, you, you never know. Um, the last time when Una Emery got the job, you know, 58 um, coaches were, um, you know, were interviewed for that job. And at the last minute, you know, it was supposed to give it to Ateta. Yes. Emery showed up from nowhere. And, you know, his track record, of course, proved everything. He had won teams in Europe and all of that. Coach Sevilla won the European Cup back to back to back. And so the job was given to him. But he had, last season, he was not bad. We saw Arsenal play a very high pressing game. Mm -hmm. They played very well. We saw them mark very well. Players were very good. But this season, they've gone to shambles. And now he's been fired. We don't know who they're going to bring in. Mikel Teta has not been proven. Of course, he's an assistant coach to Pep Guardiola. Mm. But what is his track record? You bring him in, the players falter. What do you then do? You sack him again and get somebody else. Mm. So it's top C12 in Arsenal right now. We don't know the coach. Who they're going to, we don't know who they're going to bring. Is he Allegri? Is he Ancelotti? Is he Teta? Of course, Teta on the scale of preference is number one. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if he is the right man. Mm. There's yeah. also talks about uh, Mauricio Pochettino, um, former Tottenham manager, but we know how the rivalry is between Arsenal and Tottenham Hotspur if they would want to go for uh, Mauricio Pochettino. But looking at um, what the crisis going on at Arsenal, do we blame it on managerial position or do we blame the players not even giving their all at the moment? I would say, I think it's a combination of the two. Mm. Um, you, you really need leadership, first of all. Um, and when you don't have leadership or the leadership is lacking, it's really hard for the players to be mentally and physically, yeah. you know, involved. And I think with all the changes and then, you know, with a losing record, yeah. it, it, the morale goes down as well. So, um, but I think, one, they need to fix the leadership mm -hmm. part first. And then once they do that, I think the players can now, okay, we're settled, let's see what we need to do to get these wins. Mm. So I really feel like a combination of the two. 